would love to bring onto this panel Alexander Frankel from Vitacom, coming from Brazil right now. Alexander, welcome on stage. All right, good morning. Thank you so much. Thank you, Guy. Thank you for all my Brazilian friends. So before beginning my presentation, uh, I would love to give a small introduction about my country. Uh, we are actually 220 million population, which is a huge country. And we do have 2.5 trillion US dollars GDP, which means we are the fifth largest economy in the world. And you must be surprised that uh, we are more than 40 million people without a decent home to live. Uh, sounds crazy, but that's our reality. And uh, something that goes on in our major cities is that people waste more than five hours per day in the traffic. It means 45 days per year in a car. And I used to be one of those. And uh, I decided to create my company to solve the pain point uh, of the traffic. And I went living in this apartment. It's a micro unit. Imagine a new lifestyle to propose to my people. Uh, I wrote three books called How to Live in Sao Paulo Without a Car. And uh, since I founded my company, we have more than 70 developments. And actually, we do have 25,000 members in our community of co-living. So how do, you how do we make affordability for our apartments? So we started from uh, 400 square feet, then we dropped to 100 square feet, and more recently to 20 square feet. That's the capsules. So we are bringing to the co-living concept the capsules. Uh, so we really believe. So this is one of our typical apartments. It has 100 square feet. So this is really important that uh, for Brazilians and mainly for Latin Americans, uh, it's a cultural thing. We won't share bathrooms and kitchens, so we do need to have our own apartment. Uh, we can share facilities, common areas, but we will not share, um, and we want to keep our privacy. So we developed really micro, micro units, and something that's amazing is that we, we could go for 200 US dollars a monthly rent, so it's really cheap. So we can make it really affordable uh, for our people. And uh, then we discovered by chance the co-living concept uh, a few years ago. And I'm surprised how this is a global trend. It's amazing to listen to my friends, uh, how the, the things went uh, all over the world in the same vibration. So what we do to give people more space, we start sharing uh, the common area, the facilities. So we do have co-working spaces in every single building of ours. And it's, uh, people are really using it hard. Uh, we have tr uh, transportation sharing. We do have sharing cars, sharing bikes, uh, sharing scooters. Uh, what else? We have tools sharing. People just can share whatever they want. They don't have to buy it. Um, delivery, food delivery boxes. So they can order food whenever they want. Uh, the communal kitchens, this has been pretty much used. Uh, movie theater, they can host their friends, families. Uh, the co-farming in every single building. And more recently, we created the concept. Uh, we call it the app spaces. Uh, it's something really nice. We are bringing uh, all the startups and solutions, the same that you have in your cell phone, uh, we are bringing within our buildings, so... Can you imagine if all the apps on your cell phone were also in your condo? It works like this. It's a type of housing that's professionalized. And with partnerships from startups, we'll provide services on demand. Accommodations for your pets and dog walkers, both with love and safety. Connecting chefs and clients with delivery services for home-cooked meals, or even to cook at your private parties. How do you prefer to get around? Scooters, bicycles, or electric bikes? We have them all. Car sharing services. 
You can rent a vehicle for as long as you need. You can rent a vehicle for as long as you like and need. A reserved area for you to get in and out of your taxi or ride share with safety and tranquility. You can also do yoga with the greatest possible. So those are just a few examples uh, of companies and startups that we are partnership. And what happened? Obviously, uh, we do also, we do have fans, but they start to connecting themselves, making network business, going out. And now we do have twenty five thousand uh, fans that they, they go just for hanging out. Uh, they are going to outdoors experiences. Uh, just for dining around, uh, parties, more parties, they do love parties, social working, more parties. Uh, yeah, Brazilians like to party. I'm sorry, but that's our people, thank God. Uh, they, they, they love to go in uh, outdoors uh, with their families as well, and uh, yogas. So they invite their friends, their neighbors, uh, to their buildings. So we are connecting the 70 buildings uh, in, a, in a network. So people are sharing that. So what's next? So what we've been doing is something really amazing that in Brazil, we are like America 34 years ago. We do not have any professional management company at all. The apartments belong to individuals. So this is a huge opportunity. So we spin off Housey, uh, which is our management company, and we are not only managing our buildings and our community, you are do also managing uh, our competitors and uh, all the underutilized buildings and assets across Brazil and in South America are going to Mexico City and also to Buenos Aires. So I'm glad to listen to all all the, the, my partners here in, in, in the panel, that probably we're gonna make a worldwide partnership in the near future. So we are doing in Latin America, I'm seeing a lot of experiences going around in US and also in Europe, Asia, um, in Israel, so it's pretty cool. And uh, seeing that the, this trend is, is happening all around the world. And at the end, uh, we have a big dream, that uh, my people don't have uh, decent homes. We want to give them dignity, and we also want to solve our housing problem, which is huge. It's a big challenge for our government. So we want to, to provide at least one million homes uh, for our people, and not only solve the housing problem, but also give them back their love for the country and rescue their patriotism. Thank you very much. Vitacom. Life is on.